the Prophet peace be upon him said, The hour will not be established until religious knowledge will be taken away. Earthquakes will be very frequent. Time will pass quickly. Afflictions will appear. The killing will increase. And money will overflow amongst you. Rescue teams are combing through debris and trying to reach isolated communities following a catastrophic earthquake in Morocco. The powerful quake, the strongest in over a century, struck near the bustling tourist and economic center of Marrakesh. Tragically, over 3,000 people have lost their lives and over 6,000 more sustained injuries. The earthquake struck Marrakech Medina, a World Heritage Site. This historic district, enclosed by walls constructed with red sandstone, had stood for centuries. Unfortunately, numerous old structures within the Medina have suffered damage, with some even collapsing completely. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, earthquakes of this magnitude are uncommon in the region but not entirely unexpected. Since 1900, nine quakes with a magnitude of five or higher have occurred in the area, although none have surpassed a magnitude of six. The damage inflicted upon the Qutubiya Mosque, the city's most prominent and easily recognizable mosque, is potentially even more devastating for the residents of Marrakesh. This architectural marvel, which has proudly stood since 1150, features an iconic minaret that soars over 250 feet high. It serves as a prominent landmark visible from nearly every corner of Marrakesh. Abdullah ibn Hawala said, Prophet peace be upon him, placed his hand on my head and said, Ibn Hawala, when you see the caliphate settled in the Holy Land, then earthquakes, sorrows and grave matters will have drawn near. While it may be challenging and even controversial to make definitive claims about today's earthquakes being a fulfillment of the Prophet's prophecy regarding increased seismic activity in the latter days, it is essential for us to maintain our faith and prepare ourselves for the possibility of more frequent and severe natural disasters as we approach the end times. This means acknowledging that preserving our Iman, faith, entails recognizing and being ready for the escalating severity of such events as life progresses. Most of us have been fortunate enough to avoid encountering natural disasters, living lives characterized by stability and security. Likewise, several areas impacted by the recent earthquakes had never encountered such calamities before. Their lives, too, were marked by comfort and stability. But they were suddenly taken aback, transitioning from the confines of their bedrooms to the depths of the grave in mere moments. This prompts us to reflect. Are we prepared for the possibility of death? If the ceiling were to collapse upon us tonight, do we possess the assurance to face our Creator? The Prophet taught us to say before sleeping, In your name, my Lord, I lay myself down, and with your name, I rise. If you take my soul, have mercy on it, and if you send it back to me, then protect it, as you protect your righteous slaves. The statement of if you take my soul shows that Muslims are in a constant state of readiness for death, on each night renewing his pledge to Allah, that he is prepared to meet him, should that evening be his last. Mm -hmm.